all right welcome back to the 6.8 liter garage um, this video is gonna be a little bit different we're gonna start out with story time so a uh, long time ago in a land much freer than mine no just kidding um, I, I watch a lot of YouTube as you might guess and um, one of the channels I watch is called my life deliberately uh, mostly these videos are about uh, using a sawmill on his property and uh, sawing logs and recently I was watching a video and he was having difficulty turning the log on the mill uh, he was using what they call a PV which is like a lever for turning logs if you don't know already and it was a very heavy log so it was difficult for a man to do by himself so he decided to use his tractor and uh, the grapple on his tractor to grab the log and turn it and that jostled the mill much more than you would hope you know because you have to keep those things pretty level if you want to cut straight so anyway I was watching that and I got this idea what he needs is kind of a combination of those he needs a hook and then he needs to be able to use a tractor to turn it so I got this idea and I reached out to him and um, see if he'd be interested in it so I'm gonna cut a hook here and then I'll show you what we're gonna what I think you can do with it or what he can do with it and um, we'll see how it goes but by the time you see this video he'll already have the hook and he will have already tried it and I will link to that video so we can see how it goes I have no idea at this point I don't know if it's gonna cut it should cut and again I don't know if it's gonna work for what I think it'll work how, how I think it'll work but we'll do this I'll make it uh, I reached out to him. He's a nice guy. He's going to give it a shot and uh, he'll put up a video of testing it out and seeing if it works and see if he'll add it to his arsenal of tools for milling or not. But um, anyway, let's get this cut out and see how it goes. Alright, so I've got the hook loaded, the drawing, and here's the settings for it. 86 is quarter inch material we're cutting so that seems right got the uh, amperage cranked up to 45 amps on the prime weld cut 60 air pressure is at 60 pounds and hopefully we're going to see a successful cut here in a second Here we go. Okay, apparently I needed higher amperage and higher air, so let's try this again. Okay, guys and girls, I screwed that up. Um, Switching materials, I do this every week, right? Or roughly every week. And changing materials screws me, or I screw myself so often. Um, well, not when I do that, I need to be more careful. I even told myself to be more careful. Anyway, this is quarter inch, and I was feeding right, I was feeding at 86 inches, which is almost twice what this thing can actually do. It is set for 47 inches per minute now. I, I had raised the uh, amperage, but I don't think that's the right uh, was the right answer. So I put the amperage back down to 45 and the pressure back down to 60. I'm going to try to cut over this. No sense wasting metal. Um, but it might be ugly with dross. But anyway, here we go.
so the dross wasn't horrible. Um, I feel so stupid when I get confident and don't check your settings. Make sure you check your settings, but that's what I intended to cut out. I'm gonna let this cool off, uh, clean off the dross, and then I'll show you how I think it will work. a new tool. Some of these spots are hard to get to with the flap disc. But I bought a die grinder because it seemed like the right thing to do. I didn't have one. So let's see if this can work. Okay, so today's lesson is second check your settings. I don't know how many times I've said that after I've done something stupid like today. Um, I saw the 86 inches per minute and I thought, yeah, that's, that's right. That sounds right. It sounded familiar. It was familiar. That's the setting for 10 gauge, not quarter inch. So uh, it was moving way too fast for the plasma cutter to cut through that. So almost double what it should have been at 47 inches per minute. So. Get the settings right. Luckily, no metal was wasted. So I only think the only damage is I look stupid again on the internet, but that seems to happen. So, so back to the project for today that we just cut out. Um, this hook. So what am I talking about with this hook? What's this for? Fishing? Um, a treble clef? Bass clef? I don't know. I'm not a musician. Um, anyway, I was watching a video. Well, let's do this. Let, let me show right here. Let, let's watch the video together that I watched from uh, My Life Deliberately. Uh, we'll call the guy Jim um, because it turns out that is his name, Jim. Um, trying to turn a log on his mill. So let's watch that real quick.
Okay, as you can see, uh, it's a heavy log, so it's difficult to lift. I mean, use your legs, not your back, but still, it's a heavy log. So then when you use the tractor, you can see the whole mill shift. And that's not good because it, there's some effort in setting up that mill to get it all level and so everything cuts straight. So when I saw that, I was thinking, it's too bad you, there's not a way to use some sort of a hook and also use the tractor so you're not, you know, I mean, as we get older, it's no fun lifting heavy things and doing the manual labor. And you have the money to buy the toy, I mean, the tractor, that can't be cheap. So my thought was, what if you had this hook that you could hook on, just like the PV, and then put a strap, a tree strap. This one's only six feet. I think he's going to want to use an eight foot one so it can go around bigger logs. Anyway, you hook this into the log run this strap under the log and then hook this onto the, the grapple of the tractor and then using the wrist feature of the tractor just pick it up like that and I could see it's it's going to lift some of the weight of the log off of the mill so it'll be less stress in the mill when it does turn it's pulling away from the bunks a little bit and um, it's also going to rotate the log um, and even the best part is he's inside the tractor so he's safe because this doesn't look like a safe thing but I think it will be if used properly and I've talked to Jim and he's agreed to not hold me liable for hurting him or his mill <laughs> with my uh, reach out to him anyway so that's so that's what we're gonna do I, I'm gonna send this off to him and when this video comes out he will have already tested it and you and I can watch those. Well, I, I know this video, so do you at this point. But um, today, when you're watching this video, at the end, go to the description, follow the link to My Life Deliberately, and let's watch together and see, did this work? Um, I hope it does. Um, anyway, so go check out My Life Deliberately and uh, see if this is a bad idea, good idea, waste of time. Who knows? Um, anyway, that's the project for today. Remember, check your settings on your arc droid, your plasma cutter. Just because you've seen the number before doesn't mean it's the right number for the material you just stuck on the machine. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.